On the final day of the Caribbean Association of Endoscopic Surgeons Cases Conference in Guyana, Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony said it is his hope that more laparoscopic surgeries can be performed here. The conference was held in Guyana with several laparoscopic procedures conducted by local and visiting surgeons at the Georgetown Public Hospital on Thursday. On Friday, Minister Anthony said in order to further enhance the country's rapidly developing health sector, more doctors need to come to Guyana to share their skills and knowledge with the doctors here. During this conference, several stakeholders brought equipment that were never before used in Guyana. This, Dr. Anthony said, will significantly help with improving services here. Maybe we need to look at a more long-term long way, where if there's a deficit of skills that a country has, if we can work on a program where the people with the know-how, the experts with the, with the skills, can come in, work with us, whether it's for six months, a year, whatever it is, so that we can lift the skills of the colleagues in the country. And I think if we can do that, I think we will see a region where we can do a lot more uh, endoscopic uh, surgery. Importantly, Dr. Anthony said that through partnerships, Caribbean countries can assist each other with enhancing the health sector for the entire region. He noted that through collaboration between Guyana and several North American countries, there has been significant service improvements. He added that during the conference, several doctors were able to perform procedures here that they would otherwise have to go abroad to conduct. He said with continued partnerships, the health sector in Guyana can be developed to meet the health needs of persons living here and within the region. In another couple of years, uh, with the kinds of investments that we are making, uh, we are sure that we can become a hub uh, for a lot of different types of activities. And one of the vision of our president is not just to improve care for Guyanese. That's our primary focus. But whatever we are doing here, we will open it up to the rest of the region. Dr. Anthony informed the visitors that the country is undergoing a massive transformation of its health sector. He reminded that there are six top-tier hospitals under construction and each of which will have surgical theaters. These rooms will need doctors who can perform the necessary services. I'm very proud of the team that we have locally, how far we have come uh, from where we were before and the little things that we were doing. And we were very envious of what was going on in the Caribbean and we weren't able to uh, be able to do some of the things that was happening in the Caribbean because of lack of equipment and so forth. But I think gradually we are getting there. And with your help, with your input, I know in the room there are lots of expertise. Um, you know, you have been doing this. Some of you can be regarded as the father in some of these fields. Um, you know, we are just happy to have you and to see how we can get you to help um, our doctors to enhance their skills. This collaborative effort underscores the dedication of the Institute of Health Science Education, IHSE, at the Georgetown Public Hospital to fostering innovation and excellence in healthcare, setting new benchmarks for the future of medical services in Guyana. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lizzie Yearwood.